the shocking video was released earlier today on the controversial news website, thedailybugle.net. A thief! A criminal! He's a menace to the entire city! I want that wall-crawling arachnid prosecuted! I want him strung up by his web! My son thought the world of this guy. I have a nine-year-old daughter who loves Spider-Man. Who's she supposed to look up to now? Spider-Man used to make me feel safe. Now I'm afraid to walk home from work. This is the guy that gave the key to the city to? But that's not all, folks. Here's the real blockbuster. Brace yourselves, you might want to sit out. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. No! Okay, so let's take a look at all the available Sam Raimi Spider-Man models out there. Here's the PS4 suit. And here's the model from the uh, cancelled uh, Wii game. Yeah. And um, here's my very own model I put together a while ago. So, yeah. Let's... Uh, look at them closely uh, yeah i love the ps4 model but it's too overused by fan filmmakers uh, i also don't like the proportions as it's uh, not really uh, similar to the actual uh, Tobey Maguire uh, version it's too i think lean or sleek uh, although the v model has great proportions but it's too low poly the textures are too low resolution uh, and will look good up close you can see here and here's my own model I did a few weeks back uh, it's based on spoilers ahead spider-man no way home version of Tobey Maguire suit you can see it's still a work in progress but I think uh, it's going great I'm gonna work on the webs a bit more there's the spandex pattern similar to the actual suit so yeah and here's the motion capture process done by my very good friend and teammate uh, Garrett shout out to you buddy do check out his channel he's doing great and here's the main tutorial for the wrinkles and folds so let's uh, make a vertex group first name it whatever you want based on your uh, preference like that and then go to the edit mode um, select all the vertices by pressing ctrl plus a and assign it to the group we just made just like that and then go to the weight paint mode as you can see it's all red that means uh, you did, did it right and once you are here go to the uh, brush and select uh, subtract from the options uh, just like that and uh, reduce the strength a uh, bit we don't uh, need it like at maximum at all uh, yeah and just start painting out the areas you think the folds or uh, wrinkles would appear like here uh, around the neck um, here on the shoulder and yeah tweak the settings uh, according to your preference just like that here on the other shoulder yeah perfect and uh, under the chest Domain, wherever you feel like the wrinkles would appear here like this area the other side um, perfect the neck once we are done with the painting and then just select the blur uh, option and then start blurring the uh, painted areas to blend them uh, in much so that they uh, make them much more smoother for the clothes in 
like that. Blend the corners uh, as much as you can do it. Yeah, like that. Don't blur uh, the painted areas too much. Yeah, like that. Once we're uh, done with the blurring process, then just um, add in a cloth uh, sim and select uh, whatever preset you want. Uh, I'm gonna select denim for, for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, tweak the settings, play with it, whatever you like. Then uh, select the change the frame range to the uh, range of the shot you want and then under the shape select the vertex group we uh, made uh, in the beginning like that and then just bake it it's gonna take a while depends on your uh, computer system yeah and once it's done then we are done that's it that's uh, the whole process for the same you can see the wrinkles are uh, forming uh, very well around the areas we uh, painted. If you think uh, there's less detail in the wrinkles, you can just uh, add a, add a uh, subdivision modifier uh, over the cloth sim. And you're gonna get uh, details on the wrinkles more refined and yeah perfect you can see the changes the difference it's working perfectly and this is the final result you're gonna get so photo reel and for the clean plates uh, clean plate for the sequence this sequence I just took the scene from the movie uh, masked out uh, spider-man frame by frame change the masks to uh, subtract uh, and then um, just use the content aware um, option in after effects and that gave me a rough um, clean plate works well for the shot for these i just took the uh, scenes from spider-man 3 which i thought would work uh, based on the story I had in my mind that's it that's all I think I did so yeah if you liked it like the tutorial uh, want me to do something exciting just let me know in the comments and if you want any more tutorials uh, let me know that uh, so yeah thank you thank you so much